Hi guys, happy Valentine's Day. I got these uh, this morning, this is my favorite chocolates. Oh, I love it, hope you guys had something good for Valentine's Day. As you know, it's Friday and it's time for another Hashtag Friday Reads. And this is where we share what we're gonna be reading over the weekend. Started on Twitter and Bunny Kate's brought it over here to YouTube so we could kind of do the same. Um, pretty much reading the same thing I was last weekend. I'm still working my way through um, My Name is Rapunzel by Casey Hilton. I made a lot more progress on it. I'm on page 195. I'm really enjoying it. I've, uh, my original plan, and this is why I hate making um, kind of TBR videos, like what I plan on reading in the coming month, because, you know, your feelings change. You might you maybe set on reading one book, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I just don't, I don't feel like reading it now, and I don't want to commit to something and say it. So even though I said I was going to be reading Kim Harrison's The Undead Pool, my bookmark is literally still on page one, chapter one. I have not read a single word on this. For some reason, I just wasn't ready to start it. Uh, I really do want to, but every time I think about it, I pick up something else. So, for some reason, it's, it's not meant to be this, you know, started yet for some reason. So, not sure exactly when. It may be the next book as soon as I finish Rapunzel, but for some reason, I've been in the mood for graphic novels um, along with that other book. So, I'm kind of just wanted something lightweight to read. And uh, last weekend, I did read Will of the Wisp. It was a graphic novel I won in a Goodreads giveaway, and it was just so gorgeous. I had to start reading it right away. And I did do a review on this one. I also read uh, Why the Last Man. This is by Brian K. Vaughn. It's volume one in the series. In a world where a plague has sort of hit. It's set in the year 2002. And a plague has hit, which has destroyed all of the... Um, anything carrying a Y chromosome. So last sperm fetus, fully developed mammal with a Y chromosome. All except for this guy, Yorick, and his pet monkey, which is a male. So the only two males left, apparently, on the entire planet. It's a really interesting... Um, take on the world and what happens to society and the way that women totally change and the different groups that kind of um, break out from that. It was really pretty cool. So I'm um, currently reading, along with My Name is Rapunzel, I'm reading book two in this series. And I'm kind of probably about at least a third, almost a half of the way in. And I also started this one at work today because it just looked really cool. I don't have the cover for it because uh, I'm borrowing it, but it's a uh, Cemetery Girl. Book one, The Pretenders, and this is by Charlene Harris and Christopher Golden. It says it's supposedly book one of a trilogy. And it's about a girl who, at the very beginning, she uh, is kind of dumped by some mysterious figure into a cemetery. Uh, she's been brutally beat up, and she has no memory of who she is or exactly what has happened to her. She senses it with someone close to her, maybe it was a family member or something, but she doesn't know her name, she doesn't know where she came from, what what this, you know just little flashes that's all she has these little, little quick images so she's reluctant to kind of go to the police um, in case they do determine who she is and send her back home maybe putting her right back in a dangerous situation and she's hoping her memory will come back so she's sort of hiding out in the cemetery and while she's there she sees um, a burial take place and she sees the, the person's spirit leave the body and kind of ascend to wherever uh, she's not sure if this is something that she's always been able to do or something that has happened since she was attacked and dumped here. Um, but while she's there, she happens to witness a murder. And it's a young girl, and the girl's spirit, instead of ascending, enters into her. So that's kind of the description that you get um, when you read the um, synopsis within the book. So I'm not really giving any major things away, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I like the artwork in it. Um, give you kind of a quick little glimpse. Some of it really nice, nice clear images and coloring, and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying that one so far. So, um, I mean, you know, I'll definitely continue with the uh, trilogy. And so, that are the books I'm currently reading are these three. And who knows if once I finish this one, I should be finishing this one this weekend. Um, not sure what I'll pick up after that. I'm not gonna even say because I may change my mind, you know how that goes. So I hope you guys are reading something good. Um, maybe you'll try checking out one of these. And have a good weekend. And happy Valentine's Day.